Crohn's disease typically follows a relapsing, remitting course. This means there will be peaceful periods where you feel completely normal, lasting several months or even years, but then there will be flare-ups with a return of symptoms. Is Crohn's disease dangerous? Basically, Crohn's has the potential to become dangerous, but this rate is low. Mostly, Crohn's causes chronic and intermittent symptoms. According to studies on over a thousand people with this disease, 20% of mild cases have symptoms that gradually remit. Dangerous complications include intestinal stricture, fistulas, abscesses, and multi-organ inflammation with an occurrence rate of about 50% after 20 years from disease onset. For Mr. Beast, who was diagnosed at 15, the most tiring and severe phase for him will be around age 35. This disease is not immediately life-threatening, but it causes discomfort, poor nutrient absorption, constant digestive disorders, and abdominal pain, leading to a reduced quality of life for Mr. Beast. How is Crohn's disease detected? The diagnosis of Crohn's is primarily based on clinical symptoms, blood tests, and endoscopic imaging of the colon and intestines. The symptoms of Crohn's disease include abdominal pain and chronic diarrhea are the most common symptoms because the patient's intestines are constantly inflamed, leading to poor food absorption. Other symptoms include fatigue, weight loss, and fever. In severe cases, additional symptoms may occur due to transmural inflammation through the wall, inflammation of surrounding organs like the bladder, cystitis, peritonitis, intestinal fistulas, abscesses, etc. But these symptoms are seen in many digestive diseases. Therefore, diagnosis requires differentiation between many conditions and combining with blood tests and endoscopic imaging.